Hey, how's it going? This is Jerry Heron here. We're making our YouTube video. It is now time for episode 21 of Family Feud for the PS2 season one. I have $8,100 worth for this season. We're, let's hope we can add up. So let's go right down quickly so I can add up when the game's over if I win. $8,100. Hopefully we can add up and win the game. And I believe Jordan actually played the John Hurley set, so we'll do that. Let's go. Get ready for action. It's time for Family View. It's time for the Family Feud. Are you ready to play? Yes, I am. Here we go. Come and join me for the face-off. You've got to think quickly here to give me a good answer as fast as you can. Get the top answer, and you can choose to play or pass. If not, the other family gets a guess, too. Okay, you guys, good luck. 100 people were surveyed, and their answers are on that board. You just have to tell me what they are. Something you associate with Charlie Chaplin. Oh, I know nothing about him. Comedy. Survey set. I don't have no idea. It's up there. But there are four higher answers remaining. You're going to pass? Sometimes it's hard to figure yeah, out. I know something about him. Oh, we have player pass. Pass or play. It's your choice. Okay, they're playing. And they're playing, of course. I asked you to name something you associate with Charlie Chaplin. Silent films. Survey set. Number three. Four answers remain. I asked you to name something you associate yeah, with the Charlie Chaplin. One. You've decided to pass. Good. You're allowed to do that if you want. They're getting their first strike. Oh, one strike, you guys. Four answers remain. Back to the question. I asked you to name something you associate with Charlie Chaplin. So you're going Strike to pass. Two. Strike two, I'm afraid. There are four answers left on the board. One more strike, and you'll lose control of the question. I asked you to name something you associate with Charlie Chaplin. Well, sometimes nothing comes to mind. Not the first the opportunity is there to steal. I am really just thinking here. All right, give me one answer. If it's there, you've stolen the points. I don't know. Books? All right, if that's there, you've gotten off the starting line. Didn't think so. That's okay. They only got 12 points. Lots of game left. Number one. Number one was... Kane. Number two. Number two was... Mustache. Let's see number four. Funny what? What's number six? Top hat. We only got 12 points, so either way, it's not a big deal. Anybody can still win this. It's not over until one family gets 300 points. Come join me for the face-off. 
And we're ready now for the second question. A man's name that's three letters long. Ben. Our survey says... Number two, Dwight and Vietco. It's there, but we can't do better. Tim, do you want to be higher or lower? Is it on the board? Number four, mine's popular. It's not better than the answer already up there. Are you going to play or pass? I'm playing. Right, so you're going to play. All right, on with the show. You were asked to name a man's name that's three letters long. Jim. Let's see if our survey agrees. Number five. There are five answers still up on the board. Let's not forget why we're here. I asked you to name a man's name that's three letters long. Sam. That's got to be top. Let's see if our survey agrees. Number six. Why would they top is lower? We've still got four answers left. All right, on with the show. Dawn! Who wanted you to name? A man's name that's three letters long. Dawn! The top answer? I think so. Let's see if it's there. Number three. Well, I said Dawn, but Dan Dawn is wrong, whatever. We've still got three answers left. Let's not forget why we're here. I wanted you to name. A man's name that's three letters long. Oh, I gotta get this. Tom. I said Tom Hanks. My favorite actor is Tom Hanks. Is it Hanks. up there? For Tom Hanks being my favorite actor, that's gotta be there. Number eight, though. Why would, I wish I was number one. We've still got two answers left. We wanted you to name. A man's name that's three letters long. John. Well, John spelled J O H M, but sometimes people do name it John as J O N. Let's see if it's on the board. Uh, Not there. Uh, that's one strike. Two answers remain. Let's carry on. We wanted you to name a man's name that's three letters long. Bam. Survey says... Uh, One more strike there. and you'll lose control of the question. Would you believe it? Two answers remain. Time for a really good answer now. You were asked to name... A man's name that's three letters long. Lee. Let's try Lee. If it's up there, you're still alive. If not, then all those points might be stolen. Let's see if it's on the board. Uh, I can't believe it's not I there. So I, get, I get my first point. The other family gets a chance to steal the points. One shot. What's your answer going to be? All right, question. points are mine. You've decided to pass. I get the first point. Uh, what was number one, number seven? Let's see number one. Bob. Ah. Oh. Show me number seven. Ted. First family to get the, the first points wins the game and gets the chance to play for $20,000. Will they do it? All right. Points are double the next round. Come and join me. It's that time. It's the face-off. Let's make it more exciting. 
Let's double the points. An occupation which may force you to tell a lie. Bar. Let's lie about your age. The survey says... Not there. Policemen. Our survey says... Number five. Are you going to play or pass? They're going to pass. But they're passing. So I have control. Back to the question. I asked you to name an occupation which may force you to tell a lie. Teacher. Like, you lie to your teacher. That, like, maybe you did your homework, your parents did it for you. The survey says... That's okay. That's only one strike. It's not there, but what a good answer. There are four answers still up on the board. Okay. You were asked to name an occupation which may force you to tell a lie. Court? Survey said... Not That's there. That's right, you guys. I can't believe it's not there. Four answers remain. You've got two strikes. You need to do this. All right. We wanted you to name an occupation which may force you to tell a lie. Uh, I give up. You're going to pass? Well, sometimes it's hard to think of an answer, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Just one correct but, answer, I'm, I'm, and the uh, other let's family see here. gets I don't the know. There's a lot of answers, so they might, they might get it. Can you steal? Better make it a good answer. Ah, they stole. Doctor. All right, if it's there, you've stolen the points. Number four. Now they're at 32. What was number Let's one? See number one. Lawyer. Show me number two. Salesperson. Number three. Politician. It's still anybody's game. The $20,000 could be anyone's. Time, it's the face off. I have no option. I'm going to triple the points. All right, points are triple. The president you learned the most about. Uh, John Adams? The survey says. Uh, oh, come on. It's not up there. You're going All right, to I'm going to change it. Well, sometimes it's hard to think of an answer, isn't it? We didn't get a correct answer, so we're going to replace the question. Something that people spread. Rumors. Survey said. It's there, number four. It's up there, but there are three higher answers remaining. Mayonnaise. It's actually lower Survey or higher. said. Oh, great, it's lower. I have control of what I said. Exactly. It's not a better answer. So it's my choice. Are you going to take control now, or are you going to pass it over? I'm playing. All right, they're going to play. All right. I wanted you to name something that people spread. Jam.
Time to see what the board says. Oh, not there. Looks like you guys. It's not there, but what a good answer. There are three answers left. No on one the tells enough to get to play the fast money round. All right. I asked like you. But no one has enough to win the game yet. Something that people spread. Butter. Let's see if our survey agrees. It's there, number one. Two answers remain. Still not enough for the game yet. I wanted you to name something that people spread. Let's try jelly instead. The survey says it's not there. I'm afraid. That was so good. There are two answers left on the board. Do or die situation. I wanted you to name something that people spread. The truth. Throughout the truth? If it's there, you're still alive. Otherwise, the other family gets a chance to steal. Our survey says... Not it's there. Not there but okay, if they answer. get in together, they miss it. We're the playing side The opportunity is there to steal. One shot. What's your answer going to be? Whether they get it or not, we're playing sudden death. Disease. We're playing sudden death. There aren't enough points for you to win, but we will go to sudden death. Number three is germs. All right, sudden death time. Let's go. There's plenty to play for. Twenty thousand dollars to be precise. Come join me for the face-off. Time to pull out all the stops because it's sudden death. All right, there's one answer to get here. Buzz in and guess what it is as fast as you can. Whoever guesses it first takes the game. An insect that most people find harmless. Ant. Try ant. The survey says... Got it! Last running round, here I come. That's a good job, you guys. There can only be one winner, I'm afraid. It's fast money time. Who's going to play? Okay. Me and him. Come on, let's play fast money. I'll ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you get stuck, say pass, and we'll come back to it if there's still time. If you get 200 points, you'll win $20,000. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Name a famous person who has way too much money. Donald Trump. A color people wouldn't want to paint their house. Paint. A place in their home that people hide money. The closet. Appetizer you might find served at a bar. Salad. A profession that requires you to be in good shape. Chef. Try teacher. Five answers in the bag. Let's see what they score. you to name a famous person who has way too much money your answer was Donald Trump 
Let's see if it's there. Ah, uh, oh, come on. We wanted you to name. A color people wouldn't want to paint their house. Your answer was... Paint. Survey set. All right, 25. We wanted you to name. A place in their home that people hide money. You chose... Purple. No, closet, closet. Let me think, why is it purple? Closet. Survey says... Closet. Only sex. I asked you to name... An appetizer you might find served at a bar. You chose... Salad. Is it there? Come on. I asked you to name a profession that requires you to be in good shape. You went for teacher. Is it there? Come on. I know nothing about this. All right, clear the board. You need 169 points to win the big money. Not sure it can be done. Stay calm, answer quickly, and you'll be fine. I'll ask you the same five questions. You can't duplicate the answers. If you do, you'll hear this sound. I will say try again, and you just give me a different answer. If you can't think of anything, just say pass, and we'll come back to it if there's time. Because it's harder, you get 25 seconds to give me your answers. Give me 25 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Name. A famous person who has way too much money. Tom Hanks. A color people wouldn't want to paint their house. Purple. Let's try Let's go for purple. in their home that people hide money. Cupboard. Oh. Try cupboard. An appetizer you might find served at a bar. Wings. Chicken wings. Profession that requires you to be in good shape. Firefighter. You were asked to name a famous person who has way too much money. You went for. Tom Hanks. The survey says... Ah. I asked you to name a color people wouldn't want to paint their house. You went for... Is it on the board? All right, purple. I asked you to name a place in their home that people hide money. You thought... Cupboard. Cupboard. Is it there? What was that? I asked you to name an appetizer you might find served at a bar. You went for... Wings. Is it on the board? Fourteen. We asked you to name a profession that requires you to be in good shape. I said firefighter. Your answer was 
firefighter. Let's see if it's there. Oh, oh good try. Five times seven nine. But we do give you five dollars for three hundred ninety-five dollars. Three hundred ninety-five dollars this game. Not bad. So let's just get started. 8,100 8, plus 395 equals 8,495. So I have 8,495 for this game. See you in episode 22. This is Jerry Heron signing off.